here's an oldie but goodie, um, one that most of you have never heard of before. It has local significance to me. This is a song by Russ Edwards on the DECA label called A Days at Shady Gap. And I'm thinking this was released probably around uh, late 66, maybe 1967, as the uh, events that they are being referred to here on this record happened in 1966. This is a story about Peggy Ann Bradnick, uh, who as a teenager was kidnapped by a mountain man who frequented that uh, part of the country. And uh, she was uh, dragged around the woods uh, there around the Tuscarora Mountains of uh, Hun uh, southern Huntington County, Pennsylvania, uh, by this bicycle Pete fella whose real name was William Hollenbaugh. And the, uh, the movie uh, that was released about the, the ordeal came out in 1991. It was a, a movie of the week on NBC called Cry in the Wild. Every once in a while, uh, Lifetime Movie Network might rerun re it. But um, I found this record for a quarter at a street fair in Mercersburg, Pennsylvania, just down over the hill from the Mercersburg Academy. And it has a local significance to me because I grew up about 25 miles south of Shake Gap, Pennsylvania. I used to go to Shake Gap picnic every year. And uh, uh, so take a listen to it. It's kind of neat. And uh, actually, I'm going to put uh, a link to a very interesting article that was just released by the Carlisle, Pennsylvania Sentinel newspaper website regarding uh, this story um, on my video description. Take a listen. And I'll, I'll try to uh, write the lyrics on there, too, so that you can follow along.
And there it is. Eight Days at Shady Gap by Russ Edwards. Now, there's one, there's one line in the movie that I'll never forget. Um, there was a, a scene in the movie where the kids, the Bradnick kid, kids, were on a school bus. And they had just passed by Bicycle Pete, Mr. Hollandall, riding on a, a bicycle. And they were making fun of him. And one of the boys spoke up and said, you can smell them the whole way to Orbizonia. <laughs> Which, if you don't know that part of the country, you would not get it. But <laughs> I totally got it, because um, I frequent that part of the country pretty often. Um, had friends that lived in Mount Union, so I'd have to drive through Shade, Shade Gap in, Mount, um, in Orbizonia to get to Mount Union. So, on uh, Highway uh, US 522. So, there's the record. And, um, now there's one part in the song that I don't necessarily agree with, uh, there near the end that said that, um, that, uh, a trooper, uh, a bullet from a trooper's gun was what brought him down. They don't really know that, because there was, um, so many people shooting at him all at once. Um, his final stand was, uh, located at a, a farm that was, uh, located very near the uh, Fort Littleton exchange of the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And um, there was a boy who lived there with his dad at the farm. And um, the bullet may have possibly come from his gun. It may have come from the state police, FBI. No one really knows who shot the bullet that brought the man down. So, but like I said, you can read the uh, article. Um, or you can Google uh, Peggy Ann Bradnick. Um, on um, on Google, bring up there's there might be like two or three uh, articles that you might be able to pull up, but uh, it's an interesting story. So comment, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think.